walk to freedom. This is Crichton from the uh, Jupiter mining ship Red Dwarf, hoping that you are having a wonderful time. The total, complete, and utter speed. Howdy, folks. Dr. Freedom here with the Times for Dr. News. News from in and around the universe or may or may not make you go, damn, it's been quiet. But that's because we're in between series right now. Of course, you know, series 12 not coming out till 2020. I only wish some other people would realize series 11 ended how many weeks ago. Now, the big buzz is apparently Gwendolyn Christie was spotted in South Africa. And I'm like, people are already jumping up and down going, what if she's in Dr. Series 12? What if she's in Dr. Series 12? What if she's in Dr. Series 12? And I'm like, I'm sitting here being subtly reminded. And I think it was back when they were filming A Town Called Bullshit. Um, a Town Called My Disappointment. I have a title for it, but you know that episode. It was during the, all I think, Series 7, the big movie poster series. Yes, A Town Called. Yeah, Ben Browder was in it for all the five minutes. You know, and they're making a big deal out of that that he was starring it, which was okay because I loved him in Farscape, amongst other things, you know, SG-1 and whatnot. But back during when that was being filmed, it was being filmed over on the one side of Spain. And Sophie Miles goes on and says, look, I'm flying into this part of Spain. And then they got Moffat sitting there tweeting her on. This is back when he had a social media account. Spin that fireplace, blah, blah, blah trying to make people think that she was going to be in that episode. And, of course, a lot of people fell for this little rhetoric going on on Twitter, jumping up now and going, oh, but I have the Pompadour is coming back. And it's like, filming's over here. She's going over there on the exact opposite side of the freaking country. But nobody wanted to listen. And sure enough, it turns out, of course, as you all know, history is now being set that, she wasn't in a town called sadness or whatever you want to call that episode to me it was you know it had its good points it wasn't horrific but still oh god series seven but so please do not take the fact that if you've been hearing about Gwendolyn christie being cited it doesn't mean a goddamn thing it really doesn't it, it, she could just be down there for shits and giggles matter of fact you've seen you know a lot of the cast members in that one photo out there hanging out on the beach because it's nice and hot down there right now. Meanwhile, I'm stuck here in the armpit of Ohio, and guess what's going to happen tomorrow? It's going to 61 degrees tomorrow. Now, yay, that's good. It's going to rain this whole time. Yay, okay, well, that's if you're a rainy day person. But then it's going down to 17 degrees at night, tomorrow night. 17 degrees. That's 1-7, not 70, 1-7. Fahrenheit. All right, everyone. Chill. Ugh. Can we say flash freeze, children? Yes. Oh, okay. So, just to give you an idea, but please do not jump up and down and assume that Gwen Christie. Of course, we're not getting a whole lot of news out right now. And also, you know, you've seen the various photos that have been coming out of, you know, the Doctor production down there. But the problem is, you can tell most of those were taken on the same freaking day. They're all wearing the same clothes, same shoes, same everything. And they just spaced them out to make you feel like, okay, oh, they're giving us lots of stuff. No, they're not. Except for, of course, you know, the, the pool party photo with, you know, Mandip Gill and her gang. But let's get to the stuff you want to see. Let's get to the stuff you want to hear. Let's get to the stuff that's going to make you go bubbly. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's start. All right, right off the bat, we got Doctor Magazine coming out tomorrow, tomorrow. I love you tomorrow. That whiny little kid needs to shut up. Okay, I'm, the issue 535 of Doctor Magazine will be out tomorrow. Look at this lovely cover. There's Meglos. There's Melka. There's that swamp guy from Malzarius. And there's the Famasi. You remember the Famasi? That was really, oh. You know, basically like the iguana people, you know, from way back in the day from, uh, heck, it's going to hit me in about 10, the leisure hive, see? The hard drive's running. It's getting there. So, of course, Keeper of Trocken, and of course, Full Circle, and of course, well, Meglos. But some nifty stuff in there. Also, I heard they're skipping the time team this month. 
I don't know. I don't think it means anything. I think just taking a month off. I don't know. All right. So look forward to that, ma'am. Here you go. Now, when is Jody going to appear on tenth David Tennant's podcast? Oh, David Tennant's doing a podcast. Why is David Tennant with this face doing audio? I, I, I don't know. I, Okay, but apparently the word is that she'll be on on February 11th. So this coming Monday, is she, she'll be a guest on his third episode, you know, for the cast. Um, I have not yet had a chance to listen to any of his cast quite yet, so I've been meaning to, and it's like I'll be getting around to it. So if you're interested in the David Tennant, you know, appears with yada, 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 or David Tennant does a podcast with, here you go, here's some info you can use if you want it. Now, whoopee. You remember Whoopi, you know, Whoopi, Whoopi, wanted to be Dr. Whoopi. You know, he's here right there, writes itself, Dr. Whoopi. I don't know if I told you this last time how I wanted to be the first female Dr. Who. And the American version of Dr. Who ends up in New York and is me. Now, because to me, we don't have a Dr. Who because we Americans don't have that character who is traveling through dimension, you know, dimensions in time. The idea of that just made me so happy, but they were like, um, no. So it's like, okay, I'm cool. I understand. Now, remember, now back in her Guinan days, oh, yeah. Now, no. Now, a lot of people are like, you're just opposed to her political views. No, it's called, I don't want to see oh, you know, poor Whoopi injure herself trying to run at her age. You know, you had poor Capaldi running around literally like the penguin with his ass on fire. Imagine what poor Whoopi is going to look like trying to tear off down after a dolly. You know, she's getting up there. You know, not that she, you know, she's still a real nice looking lady, but still, you know, she's getting up there a little bit. Dr. Whoopi. Yeah, I can see that now. Dr. Whoopi. All right. Now, Dr. Who, believe it or not, made an appearance on Call the Midwife. Matter of fact, they're showing footage right here. If you watch the TV, they're watching. Apparently, this was footage from the Aztecs. And since this show is set right in that particular era, I, it was very fitting, you know, that they popped up. And here is the little clip, if you want to go click on it, you know, to see a little bit of Doctor Who there. And I, I just thought that was really cool that they did that. Apparently, a lot of people appreciated it. All right, 13th Doctor number four is out, apparently. This was published, okay, Wednesday the 6th today. And if you want a little preview of what's going on in this thing, here you go. Uh -huh. Look at all the covers. And look, here's a few first few pages if you want to go look at them. Maybe get a gist if you want to buy this thing or not. Here you go over on Dr. News. Speaking of Dr. News, Dr. Who Legacy is coming to a close, believe it or not. Tiny, Tiny Rebel Games have announced that the online game, Dr. Who Legacy, will close in two weeks' time. So now this was put up on Sunday. So as of two weeks from then, uh, Dr. Who Legacy was launched in 2013 as a free-to-play game to coincide with the 50th anniversary, which was not celebrated on television. At least not on the BBC that day. Oh, um, over time, the game has evolved to include every incarnation of the Doctor from the television series, including the Horror Doctor, and well over 200. And yes, I did say they did pronounce that right because they shoehorned in another Doctor rather than let Paul McGann get his due. I love John Hurt, but I'll never let that die. That's why I call it the Horror Doctor. He was there to sell theater seats. All right, sorry, that's just me. All right, well over 200 companions from both Classic and Modern Who. The current license to operate the game is ending shortly, and the developers have decided not to renew it. Now, they issued a statement via their Facebook page. If you want to go read it, here you go. The game can be played offline after the shutdown, but will be removed from the app stores in due course. All in-app purchasing will be turned off from today. That's as of Sunday, February 3rd. So you know you're not going to buy any more freebie. A final, pro, a final promo code was released on their page. So if you want to go to the Facebook page, check it out. There you go. Sorry, Dr. Legacy is going by the wayside. Cyberman invades it. All right, now classic Cyberman invade. That's right. Some of the Doctor Who Series 11 guest stars and Rare 60s Cyber Union are headed for Chiswick in February. That's right. Hot off the back of the latest series of Doctor Who, we're pleased to know. This is our blah, blah, blah. But let's go through the list, okay? Now, there are appearances by David Shields from the Saranga Conundrum, Mr. Tim Shaw himself, Samuel Oatley. They're also welcoming Jazz's, you know, nanny, who, and Nanny and Breen, who, Lena Dinger, who is also in uh, Unicorn and the Wasp. Um, John Levine will be there, joined by two of the fellow Moonbase Siren, Derek Schaefer and Barry Noble. 
And it's a very, very rare opportunity to be also, don't forget, John Levine is also, you know, the, the incredible Sergeant Benton, who we still love to this day. Also appearing will be to tear up the leader, Michael Melia. And of course, fresh from the fresh recent release, season 19 Blu-ray, Colin Stinton from The Sound of Drums, Chris Gart from The Greatest Show in the Galaxy. So here you go. Well, ha ha. If you want to go check out this event, just follow the links and all that right here. And this will take you to, and if you're, if you're going to be in Chiswick in that area during that time, if you want the dates and times for all this, yeah, here you go. All right. Moving forward, of course, speaking of John Levine, his biography, sorry, his autobiography will be coming out on the twith, uh, 20, uh, the twith, what the hell's a twith? The twith of February. The 25th of February. And that's going to be Run the Shadows, Walk the Sun. And if you're interested in this, 19 pounds, 99. Signed copies are available to pre-order. Dedications available upon request prior to release, 25th February. So here you go. Here's a little synopsis if you want to get into it. And bam, 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 here you go. Naked? Too naked for the Nazis? Oh, all right, wait. Let go. <laughs> that has nothing to do with us. I've been seeing more and more praise lately on Facebook for Series 11. And it's about time all you people who really did like it come out and say something about it. You got all these poor fellas out there squawking their brains out, you know, trying to make it sound like there was this great thunderous wave of haters that was going to be like a tsunami rolling over England if they didn't get their way. And it ain't happened yet. Also, like, uh, you know, I've also been seeing some really weird comments from a certain person. And I'm not talking about the usual guys. I'm talking, this is, well, somebody who is ghastly kind, you know, kindly asked not to, you know, to post here anymore. And somehow they did. I don't know how. But when you have to resort to calling people names just to get your point across, that to me pretty much shows you had no point to begin with. One of the first things they teach you when you're doing debate is strategies you should avoid because they basically take away from your argument. One of them is the quote-unquote classic attack the man. And that's where you resort to name calling, you know, attacking a person's character rather than attacking the issue you're debating. Now, some of you folks may have seen a couple of these posts. Um, it's like David or whatever your real name is, because you are a coward. You've been hiding behind a fake name now for how many years, yet you go around criticizing other people who have the nerve to come out on camera with their real names and state their opinion. Yet here you are, this anonymous little no-name from nowhere, calling me fatso. Well, i got to break you some sad news. David, I've known that for about 30 years. Maybe longer. Good night. <laughs>